So I want to do a quick video on how to SSH into an external server. Uh, I'm going to be using DigitalOcean. I think it's a perfect platform to learn on. And uh, you could buy a server for about five bucks a month. So I'm just going to use that for this tutorial. Uh, first thing you want to do is create a RSA key. I'm sorry, a SSH key. Uh, but real quick, you want to make sure you have an SSH folder. Uh, in most cases, Linux does not have one, but in your case, you may have one. Uh, I'm just going to just create one right now. So mkdir.ssh. So there's my SSH folder, so I'm just going to go into that. Clear out. This is a new directory, so I'm just going to create a new SSH key. So I'm going to just do SSH keygen. Now the type of key I'm going to create is an RSA key. And I want to make a comment. And usually you just add your email address uh, in order just to keep track of the keys. So in this case, I'm just going to do uh, test YouTube at gmail.com. Okay, I'm going to call this uh, RSA key just test YouTube. And I don't need a passphrase. You could create one if you want, but in this case, I definitely don't need one. So that's going to create a public key and a private key. Uh, so what you need to do is you need to co copy the content of your public key, and then you're going to paste. You can use that to paste into um, your external server, in this case would be uh, DigitalOcean. Uh, so just to see what's inside of it, I'm just going to do... Um, so basically it's this this uh, information you want to copy and then paste it into DigitalOcean. This is going to be pretty hard to do the way Linux is set up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to download a program called XClip. So super user do at install XClip. Okay, in this case, I already have it installed. So once that's installed, all you have to do is type in xclip, select so-sel, copy, and then the file you want to copy. In this case, we're copying the YouTube public, or test YouTube pub. Okay, so I'm going to come over to DigitalOcean and then I'm just going to create a new droplet. That's what they call their virtual servers. So create droplet. In this case, I'm just going to select a $5 server. I'm going to select one closest to my house, San Francisco. And then I'm going to add a new SSH key. Okay, since I are, I've already copied the content using XClip, so I'm just going to paste it into here. And as you see, um, it, it starts with SSH RSA, and it ends with the uh, email address I input into there earlier. I'm going to keep the same name, so and then add SSH key. And I'm going to create the droplet. OK, so once that server is created, uh, it gives me an IP address. So I'm going to do is going to just SSH into here, just kind of show you that it does work. SSH. And I'm going to do server as a root user. At, and I'm going to use this IP address. So I'm just going to paste it into here. And then I want to add my SSH key. So dash I, and then yet test YouTube. I'm not using a public key, I'm using my private key. Just hit yes. And now I'm in the uh, Linux server attached to this. So just to test it out, make sure it works. I'm going just to make sure I have this copied. I'm going to open a new web browser. And I am going to paste in that IP address. 
As you can see, there's nothing there because I've just created that new server. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to install Apache. Which is just a web server. And once that's run, I'm just going to stop, refresh this page. And we are showing the home page of the Apache server. I hope this helps and I'll be sure to leave a free trial link to DigitalOcean in the description along with the names of the uh, programs I installed, which is uh, XClip and Apache. Thank you.